this is the extended table of what we saw in the first one concerning the release of Gilad Shalit. Now in the first one we saw the basic words which were Gilad Shalit Yeshukhar. Gilad Shalit will be released which we found a while ago and uh, this really what we found is it was the best meeting of Gilad Shalit and Yeshukhar will be released and it really came you can see the race of Yeshukhar is here and this came in the verse Lamed Aleph in chapter Lamed Aleph in Genesis this already started all this table and then it carries on up till the same book like Aleph in Genesis and the chapter 36 16 so really we speak here about five chapters that this table coming in in the book of Genesis. Now what we have here, what is the story about? So the story is about Yaakov coming back home after the long exile. As is written here by Yavo Yaakov, Shalem, he came perfect after going through all these difficulties with Laban and Esav, near Shechem to the town of Shechem, Asher Vetzknan. So this is a story here. And here also we have really the letter reish of Yeshukha will be released. It really is the letter reish of the verse which says that the land, this is a promise which God said to Jacob, et ha'aretz asher natati le'avram le'itzchak, lecha et nena, ulezararacha arecha. The land which I promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I will give to, to you and to your descendants after you. So clearly, this verse speaks about Jacob coming back home to Israel. And God promised him that he will get the land, he and his children. So we speak here about really time that we hope that we are very close to this time. Especially the year that we are now, Tavshina and Bet, 2012, very, very significant year. So, the fact that Gilad Shalit, which is written here also, Yashuv will return, or Shuv, come back to Le'arsecha or Le'madrecha, you see it is in the letters of Shalit, returning back to the land. So, this is really showing and indicating really that now coming back home after five years when really during these five years nothing really serious was developed only now so very likely it is a sign from heaven that somehow that now is the time for it and the danger from these cruel terrorists which are from Amalek you can see Amalekite is champion of Amalek Amalek is a very cruel nation, nation as the world says, I'm luck, a nation want to lick the Jewish bike like dog, very cruel ones, as we see this Hamas or this terrorist, suiciders, like um, beasts behave. So this is the Amalekites, these people, and the end will come, God promised it, in the end they will be wiped out. So. We hope that we are close to this time, so the danger from this beast, cruel people, terrorists, is not so great. So, again, Gilad Shalit, Shuvla Shuvla Hazachamana Tercha, return back with the word Yeshukhar, really, with this promise of God coming back. That's Aza, Aza is a source of trouble, according to Kabbalah. This is the place of the Amalekites the evil forces there and then when we looked at that time for the release of Gilad Shalit we looked for the word Hamas and then we were amazed to see that there is an old sentence here Shevi, captivity to where the houses of the Hamasim of the people of Hamas very long sentence parallel to the release clearly showing the connection as the scientists who work definitely on the cause 
find out that parallel appearances beside minimal definitely are very very best meetings are very very significant so this part of Gilad Shalit was captured by this Hamas and Amalekite and the verses which speaks about Jacob coming back home and the promise and the most interesting thing is that Jacob, Yaakov, the Torah tells us that Lemikneu to his flock, Asa Sukkot, he did Sukkot. And therefore, Lachin Gashem Hakom Sukkot. So the word Sukkot come here exactly the time when he's going to be released, Gilad Shalit. Also, those who saw our table about the kidnapping of Shalit, Gilad Shalit, it was really appearing in the story of Yosef. The story when Yosef was sold by the Arabs, Ishmaelim, Egypt to Egypt. So there exactly comes the story of Gilad Shalit. And then Yosef, interestingly, is a Osh Pizin, the visitor in the Sukkah on Tuesday, which is exactly the day that Gilad Shalit is going to be released. So this also can be coincidence. So looking at so many details coming here, and also this is a part that we found in that time when our father was still was alive and he did a lot of problems to Jews, also big archi terrorists killing a lot of Jews. And then we found out that this story came also in these verses, you can see the name Arafat, here is the name Arafat, I'll show it to you clearly. The Arafat Ein Resh Pe, you can see Ein Resh Pe Aleph Tav, and this comes in the story when Jacob was struggling with the angel, it was the angel of the Satan, Amalek, Satan of Amalek also, indicating, we know quite well, that all these stories which happened to our forefathers indicate to what is going to happen to us. So here we have this story when this struggle took place and the angel hit the thigh of Jacob. According to Kabbalah, indicates the descendants of Jacob were hit by the Satan. And this really what is going now, unfortunately, fighting the Torah and all these things. And then also clear indication that this happened in the Early morning, a lot of on dawn, and this, according to Kabbalah, the Medrash indicate that the travels the Jews are going to Sukkot before Shia. Arafat is here, so in the same Sukkim you have also the Hamasim and the story of of Gilad Shalit. So very likely, and hoping that really we are very close to dawn, to the morning. But as our Rabbi Stella, the Gemara says. That the most important condition to get the redemption is to do tshuva. And here, interesting, coming this long sentence, Naok and Bacho li tshuva, that you have really to cry and to pray for tshuva, because this is the only condition to get the redemption. So, the fact that Gilad Shalit is now released this year, Tavshina and Vet, and this is really interesting because all the five years nothing serious moved. So it looked like that from heaven God really uh, did this to happen because this to happen because the danger from these criminals, from this cruel people of Amalek will endanger just so much at the end will be when they even will be outside. So let us hope and pray and do tshuva properly. So then really this release will not danger, danger to the Jews. The opposite will bring Jews to realize that everything which is happening is in the Torah and what God says is going to happen. He promised the land to Abraham. He said he's going to give to his children the land. This is written here and returning back 
to the land. This is part of this prophecy. Israel will come back. So it's a story that Mashiach will come soon and no more troubles will happen and all these enemies, force of Israel, of the Jews, will be wiped out.